Hi, my name is Chris. This is already the sixth part of making a rolling cube. In the previous video I finished all the machining of the cube. Check that out if you haven't seen it yet. In this video I'm gonna start with the electronics slash control part of the cube. I use brushless motors they use in model airplanes and quadcopters. To drive these motors you need an ESC, an electronic speed control. You'll find this cheap, ready for your quadcopter or model airplane. But my cube is something different than a plane. I need to run the motors at a lower speed, need to reverse them and just have more control over them in general. I know very little about electronics, but if I wanted to program my own motor controller, I knew I had to figure out how those things work. So I spend a lot of time measuring outputs on the ESC, researching the electronics and mapping out the pins. Luckily for me, a guy named Simon Kirby made open source firmware for these kinds of ESCs. Although it's written in assembly, which you can't say is easy readable, it really helped me understand it. It's actually quite simple once you know it. The six big components you see on the back of the ESC are n-channel MOSFETs. You can think about them as switches you can control with a microcontroller. They are connected to the motor in such a way that you can run the current in any direction you want through the motor coils. So by opening and closing those switches at the right time, in the correct sequence, you can rotate your motor. Learning to write my own firmware for the onboard chip was gonna take too long. So I decided to remove the chip and replace it with an external microcontroller. This also gives me the possibility to add extra sensors to the motor. If you want to try something like this yourself, it's best to debug it first with a current limiting power supply. Because those batteries can produce pretty high currents, which can make bugs in your code quite expensive. Shit. Anyway, it took some time to fine tune the code. But when that was done, I seemed to have fine control over the motor speed and rotation direction even though I don't have any feedback loop at the moment, but that's something for later. For now, I'm really happy with the result. I didn't know anything about driving brushless motors when I started this, so I learned a lot this week. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.